There are two ways of uploading an image so that you can create a map. The first one is to specify the online URL of the image. The second is to upload an image from your computer. And with an online image, you must specify the absolute URL for the image, including the HTTP colon slash slash in the online image box here. I've found the URL for an online image, and I'm just going to paste it directly into the online image box here. Now that we've added our online image, all we have to do to upload that image to the site is press the set button. Now if I scroll down, you'll see that that picture is now on the image map editor site, and it's, it's ready for us to create image maps, just like so. But I'll be going to that in, in a minute. Now I'm going to show you the other way of working with an image, which is to upload it directly from your computer. To do this, simply select the image. The same picture, except it's on my hard disk. There are a couple of options when you upload an image. You can either resize that image to a particular width, or leave it as it is. Press the set button to upload the image. Now, if I scroll down, as you can see, I've uploaded that image from the hard disk. Now, you'll notice that there are scroll bars. Now, this is where the, the width aspect comes in. Um, what we'll do next is we will resize that image so that it fits on the page exactly. Right, now I've uh, reloaded the image this time at uh, 600 pixels so that it fits just exactly on the page. This image is actually you know, a prime example of uh, an image that you would use to create maps. Um, it's got all sorts of pictures of spaceships on it. Um, and what you could imagine wanting to, to link from a spaceship to a particular web page about that spaceship. Right, to uh, get started, what we need to do is we need to select a spaceship. So if you move the mouse to the area of the image that you want to create the map from, uh, just press the left mouse button down. Now that will resize as you move the mouse um, over the image until you press the left mouse button again. Now that we've created our map, we can change the settings. Double click on the map and this brings up a menu. If you choose the move option on the menu by clicking on it, then you can move that image map around. Like so. Double click on it again we can cancel the double click and again we can delete the image map. Right, I'm going to get down to the nuts and bolts of it now. What we need to do is to create links from parts of our image to other websites or web pages. To do this, we create a selection as I've just shown you. Now I'm going to create a couple here. Um, now we just double click on the uh, the image map um, to get the menu and we choose create link. Uh, now this is this is up, up here because the web uh, browser isn't maximized at the moment. Um, so it should be in the center of the screen when you're using it. Um, so you enter a text description which will show up when you move the mouse over the image map. So um, Star Trek Picture 1 um, and then you create a, a link so that when uh, the user collects on the, the image map selection that it will take them to that web page or etc. And that's set under page link. This, uh, this information down here is just for your information. It's not actually, uh, you can't modify it. It's, it's just, just there to let you know what the coordinates are. Um, so I don't know any uh, Star Trek websites. So I'm just going to put down one that, that, that comes to uh, mind which is uh, www.pbc.co.uk slash news. And I simply click done and that uh, information is now stored in that map which you can see if we go back 
and we edit uh, create link up here and there it is um, so I'll do the same for the other one and this time I will call it uh, uh, star trek picture 2 and this time I'm going to link to microsoft.com so we've created our two links now and there, there they are and yep okay so the next stage um, is to um, create the HTML before we get into creating the HTML, I'm just going to talk briefly about the save and load functions. Um, you can save uh, your image maps. Um, to do it, just press uh, the save button and uh, save to your uh, hard disk. Right. And you can use the load function to, uh, um, to load the image maps that you've uh, saved. Um, but to do so, you have to preload the, the image first again. Right, to demonstrate this, I'm just going to use a, a, another image. So I'm going to upload that. I'm just going to... Image. Okay, so that image is now uploaded. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to load that map that I created into this new image. Um, normally, of course, you'd, you'd load the, the the image that you created the map with. But I'm, I'm just doing this just to demonstrate uh, how it how it works. Uh, so you have to press the browse button um, and find your uh, image map file. Uh, which is there. So if I press the load button, hey presto, we have our image maps uh, restored. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to create the HTML uh, ready for you to uh, paste it into your website. So if you just click the HTML button, scroll down the page, and here is the HTML. Uh, as you can see, <coughs> the information that we entered with regards to the UR, URLs of the websites we're linking to and the titles uh, are all in that uh, HTML. If you want to see the, uh, the finished product, just click the preview button and uh, you will see when you move the mouse over the image that uh, you can see those links. So if I click on the first link and it takes me to the BBC website. One final thing, uh, when you uh, upload the image to your website, make sure that the source, the source path in the image tag here points to the image on your website. So on our, our website, all images are stored under the images directory. Uh, you may have something similar on your site, or, or you, may, you may just be in the root uh, directory at the very top level of the website, in which case it would be either um, just just the, the name of the image without um, any paths to run slashes in it. So once you've made your modifications, all you need to do is copy the HTML using Control C, go to your uh, editor and paste the code in. Uh, and that's it. Uh, this technology is, is, of course, it's free online. Uh, but if you've got a content management system and it doesn't have this kind of functionality, uh, we are we do sell this technology for other developers. So if you're interested, uh, visit our website uh, and choose um, the uh, the buy uh, menu option. Anyway, thank you for using uh, ImageMapEditor.net. Uh, best of luck. Bye.